What is going on everybody? Travis here back with another episode of Supernatural. This is going to be the 12th episode of the fourth season. Let's go. <laughs> Magic week. Charlie A cut. Wow, you're really good. Yeah, great. Hey, show us another. This is a simple riffle shuffle. Oh. <laughs> Do a card trick for me. Well, here we go, the Incredible J. Would you please tell me when to stop? This is your card. Commit it to memory. That's incredible, Jay. Don't be a jerk. Do you see your card? No, I don't. The cards say no. <laughs> Check his pocket. God's sake, Vance. Check. Yeah, why Check is this guy being a jerk? Pocket. So, if you then <clears throat> would remove this is your card. Why are you so mean? Can you just leave the old guy alone? Uh, well, damn. You can't see. Is he wearing eyeliner? Can't tell. I'm blinded by all the sterling silver. Get it? it? It has to find me. What, what a, a douchebag. Douche You're giving me a headache. Used to be about skill. Used to be. Listen to the two of you. It's pathetic. Bitter old men talking about the glory days. This douchebag isn't the joke. We are. Hey, who are you calling a joke? Me, for one. That used to be us. Yeah, maybe he is a douchebag, but he's playing the main stage and we can't even afford an assistant. Is he supposed to be like old? He's based off dumb. like Jay, Chris Angel. I'm gonna do the table of death tonight. You almost killed yourself the last time you tried it, and that was 30 years ago. At least I'll go out with a headline. Bro. Ladies and gentlemen, what you're about to see is not a trick or an illusion, simply a display of daring and dexterity. Now, young lady, if you'll please check the bindings, you'll see they're very real, very tight. Thank you. You may take your seat. Damn straight, they're tight. You sure you can slip him? Right. Is he like setting up to die on purpose or something? This does not seem like a great idea for some reason. I'm nervous for this old dude. Older dude. Shows in an hour, Vance. Try to be on time. What the hell? Well, that sucks. That sucks for him. This isn't a trick, okay? I, I don't do tricks. This is a demonstration in <laughs> angels, love, the and title. lust. The douchebag. <laughs> it's Jeb Dexter. I don't even want to know how you know that. He's famous. Kind of. Ever for what? No Douchebaggery? messed up it gets, don't touch me, okay? <laughs> oh, back to hell, demon! Is this your card? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, a fake demon possession? I can't believe people actually fall for that crap. It's not all crap. What part of that was not a steaming pile of BS? Okay, that was crap, but that's not all magicians. I think skill. Oh, I right, love Sam. right, I forgot. You were actually into this stuff, weren't you? I mean, you had a deck of cards and a wand. Dude, I was 13. Bugs Everybody actually, wanted to be a magician. The playing at demons and in magic. I did. At least. Like a guy who drops dead of 10 stab wounds without a single tear in his shirt? That's what we're talking about. So does your boss have any uh, enemies that you know of? Vance had plenty of enemies. How so? He would steal from other magicians all the time. What would he steal? Stage effects, <laughs> close-up techniques, anything he could get his hands on. Is that enough to get him killed? These guys take this stuff pretty seriously. Did you find anything weird in Vance's stuff? Weirder? Matter of fact, I did. Oh, shit. I'm guessing this didn't belong to Vance. He hated card tricks. Never wanted them around, let alone in his precious cape. <laughs> precious cape. Why does he look so familiar? You gonna tell me how you did it? Did what? You know what? Yesterday, you were sad, old, and dying. This is me you're talking to. You didn't think I could do it. No. You're my friend. My best friend. I, I just didn't want to see you get hurt, that's all. You want to see something? Look at this. Not bad. Not bad. I've been working to pull an ace out of the middle of the deck for years. And now I can pull three. Still missing the ace of hearts. I want to do the executioner tonight. Are you trying to get yourself killed? Houdini wouldn't try the executioner. Think about it, Charlie. If I can we'll pull do this that, off, then. I think you're pushing your luck. It wasn't luck. Here, stand over there. 
Is he the one? Let's not end up like this, Charlie. Cursing? A couple of old farts, birthdays, and bar mitzvahs. It beats dying. Is that it? I would do anything for you. You know that. But I will not watch you die. I'll miss that show. You'll be there. You're always there for me. Check your pocket. Ace of hearts. Oh, shit. That's good, Jay. That's pretty damn good. I can do it, Charlie. I want to do it. I don't know, man. Please. It's a lame gig. And freaking angels in Vegas doing Cirque du Soleil. Th that should have been mine. All right, boys, get it in gear. I don't got all day. You weren't an asshole? Who's asking? Better agent, Ulrich. Looking into the death of Patrick Vance. I'm Jeb Dexter. This is Devil Twist. We're chilling at the International Magicians Devil Convention, Twist. which is a dope chance to tip my hat to the wicked cats who came uh. before me. Smoking hot effect last night, Jim. My name is Jay. Yeah, whatever. We can loop it later. What a douchebag. Yeah. Couldn't agree more. Literally. Is uh, this familiar to you? Should it be? Well, I heard that you use tarot cards in your act. That was a long time ago, and I haven't touched the deck in years. Do you know someone that might uh, use them now? Well, there was a guy down on Bleecker Street. He, he peddles that kind of specialty stuff. Do you have a problem with Vance? Vance crossed him about a year ago. Probably cost uh, 50 grand in royalties. You know the exact address? 426 Bleecker. Ask for Chief. Chief. Thank you. That is a little sketch. <laughs> sketch. Sketch. I'm uh, here to see Chief. Stay here. Don't touch anything. Okay. Those pulsating jams I hear. You are really gonna get it tonight, big boy. <laughs> There's been misunderstanding. <laughs> I think I've been had. Oh, you ain't been had until you've been had by the Chief. Oh, and before we get started, What's your safe word? <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> Damn, they got Dean good. The whole world's about to be engulfed in hellfire and you're in Magic Town, USA. <laughs> you got something against magic? That would almost be funny if 34 seals hadn't been broken already. That's over halfway. The angels are losing this war. If someone doesn't do something soon. And that someone is me? Who else would it be? I don't know, squat. So why don't you tell me where you'd like me to start? You might want to go after the one doing the breaking. Lilith? Cut the head off the snake. Cut the head off Lilith. You're the only one who can stop her, Sam. Give her the chop. And kill the chop, little chop, bitch. Chop, chop. Oh, I'm Oop. game, believe me. It's not the psychic thing I got a problem with. Tough. It's the only way. No. This would all be so much easier if you just admit to yourself that you like it. That feeling that it gives you. You don't know what you're talking about. Fine. Lucifer rises, the apocalypse starts. You think that you have demons on your hands now? People are gonna die, Sam. Oceans of people. Not oceans. So you just let me know when you're ready. Find anything interesting? What? No. You? No, I don't want to talk about or think about ever again. <laughs> He's crazy. And you know uh... it. He says he can do it. Vernon, Questionable. I was, I saw something it. in his eyes. In his he didn't eyes. try that hard, bud. You're both nuts. The chief, huh? Chief, not your type. You know, I could have you both arrested for obstruction of justice. You're no fed. Takes more than a fake badge to get past us. You got us. Now we we are actually aspiring magicians. We thought we could learn something. So it's a brother act. Oh. Yeah. With rings and doves and rings. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the incredible Jay. You want to learn something? Stick around. What you're about to witness is a feat so dangerous even the great Houdini dared not attempt it. I give to you the executioner. As you can see, this jacket is the real article. You may take your seat. Now I will have one minute to escape certain death. Let's see if I can do it. This I don't think he's gonna make it. Yeah, so I'm not. I didn't see that for personal reasons. So, looks like this guy Jay was a pretty big deal in the seventies. Big enough to play Radio City Music Hall. We got him stuck in the Where Are They Now file. He got old. 
Okay, so maybe Incredible J is using real magic to stage a comeback. Some kind of spell that works a death transference. Has the tarot card mixed into it? I don't know. I hope I die before I get old. The thing seems brutal, don't it? You think we will? Die before we get old? Haven't we both already? Do you think we'll still be chasing demons when we're 60? I think we'll be dead. <laughs> for good. But what, you want to end up like, uh, like, like Travis? Gordon, maybe? There's Bobby. Oh, yeah. There's a poster child for growing old gracefully. Rude. Don't come for Bobby like that. Maybe we'll like be different, that. Dean. Dean? Got a Kool-Aid you drinking, man. Say me, it ends bloody or sad. That's just the life. What if we could win? If there was a way we could just put an end to all of it. Is there something going on you're not telling me? No. Sammy? No. Look, I'm just saying, I, I just wish there was a way we could go after the source. That's all. Cut the head off the snake. Well, the problem with the snake is that it has a thousand heads. The evil bitches just keep piling out of the Volkswagen. <laughs> yeah. Guess you're right. Why don't you go see if you can track down Jay? I'll see what I can dig up on this tarot card. So the maid found Jeb hanging from a ceiling fan. Yeah. Pulled a little sleight of hand myself. On Dexter's body? Yeah, so I'm thinking if this spell is a death transference, then these, these cards work like black magic targets. Any connection between the victims? Jeb was a total douchebag to Jay yesterday. What about the first Vic? Asked around, apparently Vance was heckling Jay at the bar the day he was killed. Okay, so Jay does the table of death. And Vance takes ten swords to the chest. Then Jay slips a noose and Jeb doesn't. Hell of a trick. Yeah, this time we had a little chat with Jay. He slipped me. He's a 60-year-old. He's a magician. Y'all better be careful not to get no cards put in you now or around you. Up against the wall! Now! We know what you've been up to! It's a real bad mojo to jumpstart your act. I know what you're talking about. Look, we know you put a spell on those tarot cards. Messing with real magic? There's no such thing as real magic. It's, it's illusions, it's tricks, it's, Ooh. it's all fake. Jeb Dexter strung up, is that just an illusion? What? Something happened to Jeb? He was found hanged in his room. Right after you slipped the noose last night. I don't know what you're talking about. Just let me go. So it's not right. Usually there would have been some badass hoodoo at us by now. What do you want to do? Uh. All right. So if it's not him, who is it? He's still getting the reward. His shows are selling out. So then whoever it is, they're obviously in Jay's corner. All right, so we got Vernon and Charlie on the list. Anyone else? We could always ask him. <laughs> Guess we should have seen that one coming. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's not even gone. That's funny. No way he can outrun us. That's them. Those are the two nut jobs that just broke into my room. Oh, Bruce. shit. That's where I can see him. That sucks. That doesn't look very good, they guys. They said my act is killing people. That I was Maybe he did it. Spells on tarot cards. Real magic. You're lucky to be alive. You don't think. Well, the things that I can do now, the cards. You've been working the cards your whole life. I haven't been able to slip a pair of cups in 30 years. And then there was the way that, that, that Patrick Vance died. Uh, no great loss there. Ah, uh, Charlie, he didn't deserve to die. He was hanged the same night that I performed the executioner. Are you telling me that you actually believe those guys? I mean, I don't know. The coincidence, though? Maybe. I shouldn't go on tonight, Charlie. You have a sold out house out there. Sold out. When was the last time that happened? The other night, when I was doing the table of death, I was gonna kill myself. And I have no idea how I got out alive. But you did. Somehow you did. When you were in your day, you were incredible. You were the best I ever saw. And now you got it back. You, bro, it's you. To see you at the top of your game it's totally again. him. Hell, it makes me feel young. This may be manna from heaven, I don't know. But whatever it is, you don't throw it away. It's you. <laughs> or maybe it's you. One of those two. Bro. Oh, shit. How'd you guys get out? Jake. Thanks for dropping the charges. Oh. You mind telling us why you did it? Thanks for giving me an answer. We have to talk. I was just a kid when we first met. All I knew was how to cheat at cards. Charlie got me out of more scrapes than I can count. Hell, I would have been dead by the age of 20 if it hadn't been for him. <sighs> he was more than my friend. He was my brother. I'm sorry, Jay. Look, I should have listened to you guys when you told me that my show was killing people. You weren't the one pulling the trigger. I want to find out who did this to Charlie, so I'll do the other guy. you guys. Say, just tell me what to do. Whoever's doing this, 
They like you. They're probably close to you. Did Charlie and Vernon get along? No. No, it's not Vernon. He's the only one that makes sense. Charlie and Vernon were your family, Jay. And now Charlie's gone. They butted heads sometimes, but Vernon could never do something like this. See, the thing about real magic is it's a whole lot like crack. Oh. People do surprising things once they get a taste of it. They crack again. Crack. You better be damn sure about this. Vernon is all I got left. I don't know. This guy doesn't necessarily seem very... Yeah. ...like that. Okay. Yeah. You okay. never know. I'll be there in two shakes. I got something to tell you anyway. Oh, it could be that girl that we met at the beginning. I don't know, man. Wow. It's like a magic museum. That's where you live, you bro? Heaven. This guy didn't travel light. He's been on the road his whole life. Probably everything he owns is in this room. Just talk to the head of the convention. Headliner gig is yours. You don't want it? A day ago, if you told me I'd be standing on this stage. No, I can't do it, Vernon. What are you talking about? Charlie's gone. Charlie would have wanted you to go on. This is your shot. It's our shot. Hmm. This is what Charlie would have wanted. Charlie's dead. He was my friend, too, you know. It's a hell of a way to treat a friend. Again, what are you talking about? You killed him, didn't you? So that I, so that we could be back on top? That's insane. Uh -huh. No, you're scaring me. Even if you thought you were doing it for me, how in God's name could you kill Charlie? Oh, you are crazy. If you think I wouldn't be so hard on him, he didn't do it. It's just a bunch of old-timey magic stuff. No herbs, no candles, and no tarot cards. I'll be damned. What? Look like anyone we know? Sweet Mary and Joseph. Charlie. What? It's really me, Jay. How the hell? God, you forget what it feels like to be young. It's amazing. How old are you? Oh, it depends on what you mean by old. Right now, technically, about 28, but I've been around a lot longer than that. How long? Long enough to have shilled for Barnum. And he gave me something. What's that? A grimoire. A book of real magic. At first I thought it was a scam, but then I tried one of the spells and it worked. In fact, they all worked. Oh. So when I got to the end and there was one for immortality. And my show, the things that I can do. Wow. Oh no, I, I wouldn't touch those burn in there. They're still radioactive. You killed Vance and Jeff Dexter. Right, you think this is a parlor game? You were being humiliated by those punks. You used me to do these terrible things. I used them to give you a gift, and you wanted it, Jay. I saw it in your eyes. No, I never wanted this. You were ready to kill yourself. I saved your life. Yeah, so by Jay. killing others. I was there for you, like I've always been, like I'll always be. Come with me, both of you. You think the first time around was good, the second time's even better. He's thinking about it. No. I won't do this. I won't. I've never made this offer before, but then again, I've never had friends like the two of you before. Let me do this for you. And who else has to die? What's the price tag on immortality? I know I don't want to come back alone. To start all over alone. We can be young again. See, he wants together, to do it. Vital and alive. Forever. Not so fast! I ain't Gutenberg and this ain't Cocoon. What? <laughs> oh, I don't get either of those references. Immortality. That's a neat trick. He's That's short. Trick. It's magic. Hey, bullet catch. Been working on that. Get him! Let him go! Now! All right, I will give it up. The spells, the hexes, this is the last time, I promise. That I miss half of it. Jay, you pick these strangers over me. The magician. You okay? Yeah, I'm alright. Hey Jay, I wanted to uh, thank you for what you did yesterday. I killed my best friend yesterday, and you want to thank me? <laughs> Where's well, Vernon? Oh, he's gone. He said he didn't want to speak to me again after what I did to Charlie. Listen, Jay, you know Charlie was never going to give up what he was doing. Ever. You did the right thing. Are you sure about that? You know, Charlie was like my brother, and now he's dead. Because I did the right thing. Yeah. He offered me a gift, and I just threw it back in his face. So now I have to spend the rest of my life old and alone. What's the right about that? Well, I mean, at least a bunch of innocent people aren't dying with 
blood on your hands. Jay, your cards. I'm well, away. Well, I don't know about you, but I could go for a beer. I'm gonna take a walk. Uh. Okay. All right. Sup, Rubes. You changed your mind. I don't want to be doing this when I'm an old man. Makes sense, and I feel ya. Um, so that one I'm a little conflicted on. I really liked the premise, and I liked I liked it for the most part. I thought it was entertaining, but there's some uh, visual elements in there that I just uh, I don't watch when it comes to anything. I'm not I had a good friend that uh, took their own life in that way, and I just don't enjoy uh, watching things like that. So um, it kind of once I saw that, unfortunately, it kind of like sucked the the energy and the feel goodness out of me uh for this episode unfortunately and then it hit me again at the end so i um i don't know i i enjoyed the idea and i enjoyed the the dialogue and stuff i think and um i liked these older guys in the episode as well but unfortunately i don't think this is another one that i would watch ever again uh, just based on those those things there. So uh, let me know what y'all thought about this one, though. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.